London. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We've come to breakfast and I'm having my first full English breakfast in England. This is very cool. We need to. Yep, we're in England. Uh, <laughs> finally, oh no, finally got my flat whites back again, so I'm very happy. We've decided, seeing we've come all the way to this area, that we're gonna go have a bit of a walk around, I think. Last night when we were walking around with Mark and Mim. Hi guys! They, they showed us some cool art spots, like there's a lot of amazing graffiti, some art installations here, so I think we're gonna go see it because I feel like, like I said yesterday, we wouldn't have come to this area if we weren't staying at this hotel. So I'm glad we're here to see a bit more of like London rather than just the tourist attractions, which you know we will be showing you later today. How cute's this spot? It's like American diner meets London. <laughs> I love it. Can anyone ask why me and Jess fight? This literally sums it up. <laughs> Since when are police stations cute? <laughs> Look at that. By the way, last night when we finished up with dinner, we went home and Jess made me watch Bridget Jones' Baby because she's like, we're in London, we have to watch a movie. We did set in just London. have a pub meal, so I was like, we had to keep the whole UK theme going. You guys need to know what's some like good British movies. They did have, um, oh my god, what's the Mr. Bean one called? Oh, the, the agent one. I've totally forgotten. Johnny English. There's Johnny English. Johnny English. <laughs> I've never liked that movie. It's good. <laughs> what was the bad fun you just said? I said that there's no shortage of coffee in shortage. <laughs> Guys, we just got to our... What's going on here? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Like, are they meant to be jellyfish? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, checking out the second Citizen M. It is the Tower of London Citizen M. And uh, let's go see our view. Again, coolest check-in ever. Always. I can't get over how simple and it. easy wish, it is. I wish every hotel was like that. It uh -huh. makes it so much easier. So we're 607. I see 606 and 608. Um, give you guys another London hotel room tour. Ooh! Oh, it's pretty similar to the other ones. Yeah, they got like, like a... their theme. Because look again, the window on the bed, which is like my favourite thing that they do. It is very cool. Oh yeah, this time I think we have views of that. Of those jellyfish going up. Well, there's one. Woo! I do like the design of these. It feels like you're almost like in a bigger capsule hotel. It's nice yeah. to, in the city to have kind oh, of. Oh wow, the bathroom's way bigger here. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's huge. Awesome. Yeah, this is where we're staying. Currently just unpacking, but I've just noticed we have blue skies, people. Screw unpacking. We're going out. Where do you reckon the London Bridge is? I think it's I don't think that there. Seen it. No, we missed it last time when we were with Cleo. Yeah. Because the sun has come out here in London, we decided rather than hiding ourselves in the underground, we're going to go for a bit of a stroll to like the iconic areas of London. We're going to Big Ben. Go on, Big Ben. And to get there, we're going to walk along the Thames, but we need the to cross Thames? The, Thames? the Thames, the Thames, the Thames, the Thames, the Thames, <laughs> the Thames. So we're going to cross Tower Bridge to get there. It looks cool. Mega tourist Jess in London. Um, I don't remember starting a Love Lock Bridge back in 2014. <laughs> you go, S and J. Tourist Jess hits London. Little hot shockies for the walk. It's that coochie weather where you want a little warm inside. Except we got a bit hot. But I still want hot shockie. Yeah. And the award for the cutest little ice cream truck has to go to this guy right here. I feel like this trip to London is way more chill than last time we were in London. I think we decided to squeeze so much in last time. Like we did Harry Potter tour, we ran around and then we're out. So we're at an area in South Bank which we didn't go to last time. We're on really this side. Really cute. There's heaps like food trucks and stuff. Because it's summer. And last time we didn't get to see the London Eye closed up. There, there it is. Here. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben, Westminster Abbey right there. Westminster Abbey, next to the Thamese. Thamese? Thamese? Thamf. 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 You have to say it with the lift. We just walked along the Thamf. 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 
actually didn't realize how big the London Eye was. I think the one we did in Vegas was like half the size of this. This is huge. Like, oh my goodness. And also, yeah, we ain't getting on this. Look at the line. It's insane. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. come down to Clapham North uh, to catch up with our Aussie friends again. Well, one half of them. Mim works near here, so she said, come on down, we'll go catch up for a coffee. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. Also, this is a huge Aussie community. So like if Aussies tried to come and make it here in London or live here in London. They seem to come to Clapham. They seem to come to Clapham. And everyone always yeah. says it's how hip start. I've just walked out and it looks really cool. It looks like a cool area. So yeah. Where's Mim at? Come out to a place called Pop Bricks and there's like a whole bunch of shipping containers put together. I think we're gonna get some like food vendor food. This place looks so cool, has such an awesome vibe to it. Don't know what to pick. Oh, this looks good. We decided to go for like a fried calamari sandwich. I didn't even know you could do this. A Don Luigi's, it looks good. That's what we got. <laughs> I'm super interested. I only got it just because like, who was calamari and sandwiches? <laughs> I need the coffee so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just found out our hotel has a rooftop bar with actually pretty good views of the Tower of London and the Tower Bridge. Wow, that's actually really good. I feel like I'm looking at like a playset of like a castle. <laughs> it's just this like in nice. there. This is super nice. The sunset is just going over there, but we have plans. We have very exciting plans. <laughs> Really? To keep the theme of the wedding, we had to go see Mamma Mia! <laughs> oh, I'm so friggin' excited! Gimme, gimme, gimme! It's kind of cool, we're sitting in the West End, having a coffee, literally people watching. <laughs> it's kind of nice, the sun's just disappeared and we just have to wait like another 15 minutes before we can go to the theatre. I'm excited. She had to get the book. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the theatre actually looks so nice, but we are up here. The theatre actually looks so cute. This is the only way we could end our night now. The place is amazing.